y'all, I'm Alex. Today I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how you can create your own training routine. Now let's get started. All right, first things first, we need to identify what your goal is for training before we kind of start creating a routine. So whether you are trying to just get in better shape, you wanna get your kicks better, you wanna get a little bit stronger, faster, or maybe you're just preparing for like a belt test or even for a tournament. You need to figure out what exactly you want to be training for. Or if you don't know, that's completely fine too. Maybe you just want a general, just good workout, you want a kicking workout, something like that is completely fine. But really think about what you're trying to train for because that's really gonna kinda help narrow down what you need to be doing in your routine. Because versus like, if I'm preparing for a tournament, for sparring, I need to kinda really work on, obviously I need to get some sparring in if I can, my endurance needs to be there, obviously kicking, different strategies, stuff like that, versus if I'm preparing for like a belt test, I need to kind of focus on a little bit of everything. I need to make sure my cardio is good, physical fitness, and then whatever I'm gonna be testing on my curriculum, whether you're doing forms, weapons, whatever it is, it's gonna vary depending on what you are training for. So first things first, identify what your goal is, what you're really trying to train for, and that's gonna help us start building our routine. Now let's start putting together an actual routine. For the video, I'm just gonna use a general kicking workout for the example. This might actually apply to a lot of you, but also this is kind of what I use for one of my personal routines, and when I'm working with some of my one-on-one -on -one clients, I kind of use this as well. First, you wanna make sure that you do a good warm-up. I usually spend about five minutes doing some footwork, some really light kicking. That's typically good enough for me. Make sure you guys are properly warmed up, you feel good before actually doing any kicking workouts. That way you don't have any injury. So just kind of just base it on your body. You need to be able to kind of tell if you're ready to go or just kind of start nice and easy once you start your workout as well. So make sure you properly warm up at least like five minutes doing some movements before starting your kicking workout. Now let's get into the actual routine. I kind of break it down into three different drills when I'm doing just a general kicking workout. One is going to be cardio kicking. You wanna think this is more of a jog versus a sprint. So not really speed or power, just kind of nice steady pace kicking, whether you're doing high repetition kicks or you're going for a long period of time. Just think of nice steady pace with your kicks. The second type of kicking drills is going to be head kicks or leg control kicks. So obviously you're either gonna be doing like head kicking where you're doing single head kicks, you're doing stuff where you're holding your leg up, doing multiple kicks at a time, or maybe where you're just changing levels. This isn't really necessarily focused on cardio, speed, or power. You can kind of combine a little bit of that, but the main focus for these is obviously getting that flexibility, be able to kick towards your head pretty easily, but also building up strength in your hip to be able to hold your leg up, have good body posture and control while throwing those kicks as well. So that's gonna be the second type of kicking drills. The last one is going to be explosive kicking, speed and power. Just pure, just you can kind of break it down in two different ways. You can either do focus just on pure speed where you're just kicking as fast as you can, doing like a ro low repetition number of kicks or power kicks. You're just trying to just hit the bag or the target as hard as you can. Or you can also do kind of a mix of both where you're really just kind of trying to move quickly but also really hit the target hard as well. So the last one is going to be explosive kicking, speed and power. I found that just using those three types of kicking drills throughout my session is just a really good overall kicking workout. I'll usually break it down 50% cardio kicking, 25% head kicks, leg control kicking, and 25% for the explosive kicking. Just kind of a good blend of different types of kicking drills. You're working on everything, your cardio, you know, speed, power, and then also getting in a little bit of leg control and head kicking as well. Now, obviously you gotta have to make sure you end with something. I personally like ending with an exercise. So during all of my sessions, I usually try to pick one exercise that I end with, just kind of like as a finisher. For example, a really good one that I've been doing is burpees. For me, it's just a good cardio, but it's also just really good. It works my upper body and my legs, just a good overall finisher. So I recommend at the end of your workout, pick an exercise you wanna work on and finish with that. And then of course, after that, make sure you do a little bit of a cool down stretch and that's gonna be your routine. So basically have a warm up. You want your main kind of workout, which for this as an example, we're using kicking. 
and then end with something. End with like an exercise, something to really just kind of burn out, finish off with, and then of course, take a few minutes to do some stretching to finish it off as well. And last, you wanna think about how many times a week do you want to train? How often do you want to be doing your training sessions? Now, this also is gonna kinda of go back to the first thing I talked about, which is what is your goal for training? I'll just take me as an example. I'm preparing for sparring for competition, so obviously I wanna train quite a bit. I do six sessions a week within four days, so that way it gives me three days of rest. So a couple days, I double up on my sessions. Now, I'm gonna use three of my sessions as an example because these are three that I've created for myself and they're all different as far as kicking goes. The first one is just a general kicking workout, which is what I explained before. A Little bit of cardio kicking, a little bit of leg control and head kicking, and a little bit of explosive kicking, finished off with an exercise. That's one of my sessions. My second session is a little bit different. It is half kicking, which the kicking portion is mainly focused on head kicks, leg control, and explosive kicking. So that one's not really too much cardio kicking, more focused on the technical side and then speed and power kicking. In the other half of that session, I focus on different types of footwork drills, just kind of working on some different stuff, floor drills up and down the floor. And then of course, I finish off with an exercise for that one as well. So that's my second session. My third session I do on my own is focus on bag rounds. So this one, especially for just kind of working on sparring rounds, it kind of conditions me for that. I do 12 bag rounds, each round is one minute, and then I basically I do three one minute rounds with 30 seconds rest. That way it forces me to get used to kicking for at least a minute, and then forces me to rest for 30 seconds and then go right back to it. After I do three rounds, I rest for two minutes, and then I repeat that until I get to 12 rounds. So basically like I'm doing four matches. That's kind of what I'm trying to simulate. And then for that one, I usually start off with like some type of like cardio kicking. I'll do like maybe like three to 500 kicks as my warm up, cardio kicking stuff, do the bag rounds, and then I finish off with an exercise for that one as well. So as you can kind of tell, each one of my sessions for my kicking ones that I've created are a little bit different. They focus on something different. One of them's mainly kind of a blend of everything. The second one is focused on just explosive and head kicks with some footwork and of course an exercise. And then the last one I do on my own is kind of maybe basically trying to mimic my sparring round. So just kind of working on some freestyle stuff and that one's good as well. So, and then my other ones, I'm basically training with my coach or doing like some running, stuff like that. So that's kind of how I kind of structure my routine throughout the week. Like I said, it's gonna depend on what your goal is. If you're gonna train multiple times through the week, it is good to try to focus on different stuff during your sessions. Or if you just wanna kinda just train a couple times a week, just do a general kicking workout both times, that works as well. But like I said, it all depends on that first thing, which is what is your goal for training? I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to let me know what else you would like to see in the comments down below. Also, if you guys are interested in getting some one-on-one -on -one coaching from me, visit alexwongtkd.com for more details. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next video.